Okay. Tell me where it went to after Five fifteen. So we'll go ahead and get started because I had promised oh, somebody this wouldn't last over ten minutes. I don't know if it's Jill or who I promised that to. But. It was Jill. Okay. Uh, welcome everybody out. This is a special call meeting, and there's only certain items, of course, we can discuss that were on the agenda. And the first item of that being the second reading of the budget amendment, and that is where we found that we left off the revenue side of the. I make a motion that we approve the second reading of the budget amendment. I second that. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor signify with aye. 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 Opposed, same. Motion passes. The next item is the second reading of the tax rate. And this is something we do have to make a change on. If everybody's okay with it, I think they. I don't know who got up on the wrong line, but the real estate side is okay at the 0.333, but the personal property should have been 0 0.5043. And that was as determined by GRAD to be the. They call it the substitute rate, but it's supposed to be the rate that brings in the same amount of money as we brought in last year. So it's called, it's something different other than the compensating rate. I still call it compensating, okay, but Amy I calls think, it substitute. Well, I think I called it compensating rate, and I made the um, motion. But, so, but uh, she'll put the rate in the specific rate in the. So we just need me to make it the motion is second. If everybody's okay with changing the personal property to point five zero four three. And make it the, what's it, the grad? Is it the grad? Well, we don't have to mention grad okay. in it. They're just the one that helps. It's the very same thing as the compensating. Folks. All right. Can we? I make a motion we accept the compensating rate. Right? The second. substitute rate, right, because that's what she has rate. on here. Sorry. Second. We have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion? Those in favor, signify with aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. We'll see. Next item on the agenda is asphalt. We'd like to uh, entertain a motion to uh, bid for asphalt for our annual bid like we usually do in August or September that it slipped by on us this time. I make a motion we make an asphalt bid. Second that. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor signify with aye. 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 Opposed same. Motion passes. And the final item is the facade grant that we approved. Tourism approved it through their budget back in June and we approved it in either July or August to have the program. I've got guidelines here that I'd like to get approved. If this is okay with everybody, if you make, feel free to make changes. This came from accumulation of Hartford, Morgantown, Pineville, Kentucky, and, and I can get you a copy when we're done with this if you want it. Uh, and tried to pick out the best of everything that we, you know, and make sure all of our bases were covered. The only thing I would like to ask different from this is and no one's asked me about this but when we start talking about this back in may and then june july and there's been several projects that have started since then and i know you have to pick out a time sometime but i i would hate to go and say okay we're starting this project on october 1st when you've got all these people's like uh you started it two months earlier so i would like to ask to go back to say may 1st that's the month when we first started talking about the program and anybody that started their project after May 1st, but before this goes into effect, give them maybe till say two or three weeks to put in their application. Otherwise, the applications cannot be, you have to be turning your application before you start the project and get approval before you start the project generally. And that's gonna give more benefit to more people. Yeah, some people that are doing already stuff that have already stuff. kind of started. And, we, yeah, we and I don't wanna knock them out just because it's taken us Taking me, I'll, I'll take the responsibility for this to get this long to get all these guidelines put together. Do we need a motion? Well, I'd like a motion to approve the guidelines, okay. but then I'd like to include in that motion that oh, retroactive to May first. Well, for projects that have started after May first, but anybody they have to have theirs turned in by say October fifth. <coughs> You know, I don't want to wait. I don't want to come up December and they turn one in yeah. from May. But anybody that does it, that started a project before May first, after May first, but before this goes into effect, is this part of ARPA money? Hmm? This is part of ARPA. This money? tourism money. Oh, tourism. Okay. We had talked to uh, legal counsel KLC because beautification and facades and stuff does tie in so much with tourism. In fact, a lot of cities that's what they use part of the tourism money for. I understand that. Yeah. And we just felt like. You know, we've done a lot with tourism. Things have been going pretty well. well I'll make that motion for what we'll, you want. 
you know, next year it may not be able to do it, but this year we're going to. Second. We have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion or any comments on the guidelines or anything you'd like to see, people would like to see? So on this one, buildings slash properties must be 100% code compliant upon completion of the facade improvement work. Yeah. So, code enforcement. Yeah, right. So if they are, if they fail to be, they won't get reimbursed until they are. Okay. I'm a slow reader today. Which <coughs> I put that in there because it, you, you have to be in compliant or you have to be caught up. You can't be like fines that are hanging out there or pass through water bills or stuff like that. Right. But I want to put something in there that even when you're done, it's still it, before you get paid. It's got to be. So if somebody gets money for a new sign or a new facade, just because that gets done, the property may still not be in compliance with other codes. And on this one part, the no facade improvement be provided for owner provided labor or the members of his or her immediate family? That came and was highly recommended by the mayor of Morgantown because when they tried this, they had somebody had a niece and nephew and they were all working. And that makes sense, so it really so, you know, you need a licensed contractor. If that person is a licensed contractor, then they would not qualify? There will be very few of those, if yeah. any. Morgantown has not had an issue, had a problem since they put that in. Uh, and it may be something, and of course, all this stuff can change at any time because this is not an ordinance form. This is just the guidelines that we have to, that I feel like the commission needs to approve. I want to draw his input. Yeah. Because I know it states in here that they must be licensed, insured, mm -hmm. and have a business license. And believe me, I'm all for this. You know. No, no, no I know that. <laughs> another one. In fact, the one right after that, at the top of the second page, was another one. Somebody, I think Pine was the one who their, their mayor recommended it because said, "Throwing, you don't want to spend money on empty buildings, but on the other hand, you do to help get them occupied. But that gives it a period where." They've got to get somebody in there. So what happens if they don't stay for a period of they two have to, years? The money will be divided out over 24 months. and they, They've stayed 12 months, so I'd pay 1,250 of it back. So they won't get a lump sum? Yeah, they'll get the lump sum. They'll get the lump but sum, what, but then we'll they'll have to reimburse it. if they don't. And is there anything in here that gives us the legal leg to stand on to say, hey, we gave it to you and you didn't hold your end of the contract? Well, that, that's, that will, that's it. This will, They'll sign something? Yeah, we'll have it all. Well, they've like got a grant application they have to fill out. And they have to check off that they've read Sorry, the guidelines. Sorry, I'm being like you. Usually you play the devil's advocate. I'm buying it today. <laughs> no, no, no. That's not a problem at all. Because I want... You know how I feel about downtown Beaver Dam. It's the front porch. Well, and you want your front porch to look good. Now, one thing, just recall, we did do this for all commercial. That's okay. I too. mean, I just downtown's what I know you and I were thinking about when we first started yeah. talking about it. But we require more than one bid, so they can't. It has to be competitive. How much is is there? Twenty five hundred dollars. Total is there? Do what? Do we have a, the whole number? How many? Thirty thousand okay. dollars. That's how much was set aside in the budget. I think we had a motion and a second, didn't we? Mm -hmm. I just want to make sure everybody's okay with it before that, we. That's the only one that I have any questions on at all, and it's just really one family that I know of. And they are licensed. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> But I don't know as but far as facade. if they're a facade. contractor, they don't take care of that. Well, I can, we just put it here, unless a licensed commercial contractor. Okay. And there may be others that I'm not even aware of. That's just one thing Billy said they had had yeah. an issue with. So everybody good with that change? Okay, we have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor signify by aye. Aye. Opposed, same. 
Motion passes. And that's all I have. Entertain a motion to adjourn. Thank you.